We're at the ticket office and we're going to reserve some seats for some bullet train trips later on in our trip. First, I'll show you a walkthrough of the process of how to reserve seats at the ticket machine if you have a JR pass. Then I'll tell you some things to watch out for. And then after that, I'll talk about whether you need to make seat reservations and what to do if you have luggage on the Shinkansen. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and there's lots of help with practical things like taking the train in my Japan travel guidebook, which you can get from cakeswithfaces.co.uk with worldwide shipping. Now back to the ticket office. So you can do this either at the counter or at the ticket machine and you can find both of them at any JR station, which is any station on a JR line. So like the JR Yamanote line or the JR Chuo line. The ticket office is called the Midori no Madoguchi, which means green window. There are several different types of ticket machine. For example, this one is for topping up IC cards. That's your Suica or Pasmo card. You need to find the reserved seat ticket machine. It'll be in or next to the ticket office of a JR station. That's a station on a line run by Japan Railways. Sorry if this is filmed badly, the ticket machines are quite close together and I didn't want to get in anyone's way so it was quite tricky to get a good angle for filming. At the end of the video there's another run through of the whole process again from another angle if you want to watch that as well so hopefully you can get a sense of the process and how the ticket machine works. Welcome, please select a ticket type. First change the language to English, the buttons at the top of the screen. Welcome. There's a Japan Rail Pass button at the bottom. If you made your reservations online, tap this button to pick up your reservation cards or to make a reservation, tap select a train to use now. Even though it says now, it doesn't matter if you're not traveling straight away, you can make them in advance. Select the number of people traveling and confirm. Next, get the JR pass for the first person and scan the QR code. The reader is just below the screen. Scan QR code on Japan Real Pass. And then enter your passport number. Enter your passport number and press confirm. Then repeat that process for each person traveling. Next, you need to enter which station you're traveling from and to. Type it in slowly and when it's down to a few options, the names of the station will appear. There isn't any backspace or delete and be aware that if you press cancel, the whole process restarts from the beginning. Select the date and the time. 7. March 7. Yeah. Tuesday, March 7. And it's at 10.05, so if you press that. What's the departure? Yep. Two people. You can choose whether you want to use the Shinkansen, the bullet train, or not. Okay. Right, so. It'll show you the options for trains that are available, two per screen. You can press these arrows at the side of the screen to view more options. This is where it's really useful to know the train number. In this case, I knew that Kornotori 5 was the exact train I wanted. Next, select the type of car you want, which is the class, its ordinary car or green car, which is first class and I've got a video coming up showing you what the green car is like. You can choose which seat you want or have them automatically selected for you. We're going to choose a seat so we can pick the seats with extra space for luggage. This screen shows you the carriages and where the toilets are and which is the least occupied, which is really useful. Then you can choose your seats. The arrow at the bottom shows the direction of travel so you know which is the front and which is the back and the green circles show which seats are available. We're going to choose the seats at the end so we can put our suitcases behind us. Finally, press confirm and it'll print out your tickets. Something's happening. Now checking. The number on this little screen tells you how many cards there should be. Please take your ticket. Thank you. 
And that's it. There's your seat reservation card. When you take your train, it's your actual JR pass that you insert into the ticket barrier, but the seat reservation card is proof of your seat reservation. I'm not sure if it's quicker than going to the counter or not really, because it, it did take a little while to put in all the details, especially if you make a few mistakes and have to start again. At the moment, there isn't a queue at the counter, but quite often there is. If there's a long queue at the ticket office, it might be quicker to use the machines. Thankfully, it wasn't too busy. This is the ticket office of Shibuya Station, mid-morning on a weekday. Also, if you press cancel, it cancels the whole thing and you have to start the whole thing again. That means you have to go right back to the start and type in all the passport numbers again. And yes, that did happen a few times on our first morning in Japan when we weren't feeling too sharp from the jet lag. Oh. <laughs> Change. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. So some things you need to be careful about are when you're typing in the name of the station, do it slowly because it auto selects as you're typing so it's quite easy to press the wrong button. Make sure you type in the name of the station and not the name of the city because sometimes they're not the same. For example, in Fukuoka, the main station is called Hakata. And in this case, going to Kobe, when we typed in Kobe, no bullet trains came up, only local trains. Local train? Do you want the Shinkansen? That's not a Shinkansen. And that's because the name of the Shinkansen station is Shin Kobe. Shin means new. It's the same for Osaka. The Shinkansen station is called Shin Osaka. You can check that really easily on Google or in your Train Times app. This reserved seat ticket machine has a reader so it can scan your passport. I don't think the other ones we've used have that. Scan your passport. Your passport's been read. Fancy. This means you don't have to type in your passport number. You just scan it and it gets all the details. It really helps to have all your details ready, so have your passport because you'll need the passport number and your JR pass ready and know what time you want to be travelling. I'd recommend making a list of the reservations you want to make and have the details ready with the date and the time and it helps to know the train number which is unique to each train. That's also useful to identify your train at the station. You can see it on signs and it's printed on your reservation card. You can find the train number on train apps like Japan Travel by Navitime and on Google. Google has loads of useful information about trains, but I would recommend using an app if you have a JR Pass because then you can filter by JR Pass and it'll only show you trains that are covered by the pass. It's also important to know whose ticket is whose and there's a little number on the JR Pass that matches your passport number. If you have your suitcases with you and you want to use the luggage space behind the last seats in the carriage, you just need to book the last seats in the carriage and you automatically get that space to use. If you have a JR Pass, it doesn't cost anything to make seat reservations. You don't have to reserve a seat, there is an unreserved carriage that you can just jump onto at any time. But if you know when you'll be travelling, I would recommend reserving a seat, especially if it's a busy time of year, just in case the train you want is fully booked. If you've reserved seats beforehand, you know you'll be able to travel at the time you want to, and you know you'll all be able to sit together. I definitely recommend reserving a seat when you're travelling with suitcases because you can reserve the seats at the end of the carriage which have extra space for your luggage. Otherwise you have to put it on the overhead luggage rack or by your knees and while there is room it's more comfortable and easier to put it in that space for luggage. But you can only use that space if you reserve the seats in the end row of the carriage. If you bought your JR Pass directly from japanrailpass.net, you can make your seat reservations online before you travel. Currently, that's before October 2023. That costs slightly more, but you do get that additional benefit. This is where you can pick up tickets if you bought them online with this option. You can reserve seats on other long distance trains, not just the Shinkansen. For example, the train to Kinosaki isn't a bullet train, but you can still reserve seats. 
that's really useful because on that route there's only a few trains per day so we didn't have to worry about whether it would be fully booked and we knew we could travel at the time we wanted. And while I was at the ticket office at the station there was an extra surprise. We found the second stamp for my stamp book at Shibuya station. It's in the ticket office, the JR East Travel Service Centre where you can swap your JR pass and do ticket reservations and things. And here it is. So, page two in my stamp book. Oh, it's a Shibuya sky and all the trains. That's the corner where you get a really nice photo of Shibuya sky. We've just found another one in the same office. This one's got a stamp of the mascot and I think this is the new style stamp, like the one we found at Sugamo. Yeah, and this one they've got note paper. If you don't have a stamp book, you can stamp that. We decided we wanted to change the time of one of our train reservations and we tried to just make another reservation at the ticket machine and it wouldn't let us. So we came to the ticket office here, went up to the desk, showed the guy the cards and uh, I said, Kono yo yakushimashita, cancel kudasai, meaning I made this reservation, can I cancel it? I think he spoke English anyway, so I don't think I really needed to say it in Japanese. And he cancelled the reservations for us and made new ones instead. There was a little form you can fill in with the times of the train you want to book. This time it was all in Japanese. Sometimes they have them in English. If not, just write down the times of the trains you want. It might help if you write down the train number as well, like Hikari 522 or whatever it is. Or even just show them a screenshot from your train times app to make it clear which train you want. I hope that helps. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I've got lots more Japan travel videos coming up every other Thursday and I'll leave you with another look through the booking process on the ticket machine as a recap. So it's Tokyo. I prefer to use the green card. Yep, so it's the, the part one line. Right. Yep, that's all. <laughs> Seat with oversized baggage. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Green car. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Two left. One now checking. Yeah. Please wait. Please take your ticket. Thank you very much.